Good morning. Hey, I'm experimenting with the lighting a little bit here. Check this out. It is dark outside, really. The disciples want an exact time and an exact sign for the end of the age. But it is the error in the questions that we ask that assures our disappointment in God's answers. Today we're looking at Mark chapter 13, verses 3 to 8. Now as he sat on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when all these things will be fulfilled? And Jesus, answering them, began to say, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and will deceive many. But when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be troubled, for such things must happen. But the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be earthquakes in various places, and there will be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. So the disciples, astonished about what Jesus said about the destruction of the temple, ask him for two things. They want to know about the, the timing and the signs that are going to come. Notice that they ask for the sign, and let's see what Jesus gives them. Because if there's not just a sign, but many signs, that's what Jesus is going to give them, many signs. Now Jesus' reply is, uh, first thing, boom, number one, don't be deceived. People are apt to deceive you. You are apt to be deceived. That's his number one thing. And then he gives them many signs. Uh, and many people will be deceived. They're going to come, not just one or two, but many will come and will deceive many. Many are going to come and they're going to claim that they're God's servants. But many of them won't be. Now, when Jesus talks about the when question, his answer to their when question He's going to talk about many things. Notice what he talks about here. Strife among the nations, famines, earthquakes, troubles. There are a variety of things that happen. He's giving them a very general answer. These are the kind of things that, that fill the history books. These are the things, many things. See, and Jesus has the, the long sweep of time in view. And so that's what he's giving them. They're hoping for something right away, but Jesus is showing them, no, don't, don't think right away. Don't think right away. And then, check this out, after he communicates these many signs, not one, he then tells them these things are just the beginning of sorrows. So there is a, a period of time, Jesus is looking at the long sweep of time, and there are much time ahead uh, for his people to exist and be believers in this crazy world. You know, we prefer, <laughs> we want the quick answer, we want the quick and cheesy answer, tell us, you know... Jesus wants to tell us what he needs to tell us. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you today for watching over us. We thank you that when the question was asked, Jesus, he gave the answer, the needed answer, and he gave it in the way that it was needed. It might not always be what we want to hear, but sometimes you have to tell us there's more coming. There's more incoming. And that was what Jesus told his disciples. Please bless us and help us, Lord. Here we are. Uh, far down range here now. We're 2,000 years down range from this, and it does seem that we're very near the end. But Lord, help us to be your people in the setting in which we are. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. And we do pray, just as Jesus warned us, help us not to be deceived. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. So do yourself a spiritual favor, solve it in your heart that you will go with God's answer, the long term answer. More signs tomorrow morning. God be with you today.